now we'll move on to the topic one that is challenges and issues in hrm uh, when we talk about challenges and issues in hrm if you look at it uh, you know very closely uh, one of the major kind of a challenge i would say you know challenges of globalization itself when we talk about challenges of globalization uh, you know there are many countries have merged together now it's something like you know take an example let's say european countries uh, all european countries you know almost majority of them joined together and they formed an european union so that's the way actually you know the economies have been integrated and the currency system is same and the kind of you know laws and legal aspects labor related laws are all almost you know similar so if you look at it actually you know in european kind of countries or probably let's say india kind of countries and uh, in order to you know probably since there is more number of you know probably the, the international business is happening ultimately it forces the you know companies to follow the international standards even in hr practices so ultimately you know because of that integration of economies that forces the company to you know rethink about what they supposed to do and then you know ultimately whichever practices uh, it's not practically possible in uh, certain countries we have been forced you know probably follow it because of the internationalization so that's a way actually if you look into it it has become a global benchmarking and uh, completely you know the management style in which they operate is totally changed and the future of you know public enterprises actually you know is becoming more and more private and it's providing you know stakeholder kind of an you know approach now let's try to look at it uh, what are the other kind of an advancement if it has happened one side if you look into it technology has developed a lot that's a boom but at the same time because of the technologies what has happened is your old kind of hr practices you have been forced to rechange so that's why if you look into it actually we are in a competitive kind of a world today and uh, industry cannot hope to you know probably uh, survive for a long uh, with a old kind of a technology so when the technology is keep changing your employee and the recruitment also has to happen to you know probably keep a trap and make sure that you know you can able to you know uh, reach the best best example is i would say like uh, bajaj uh, scooters so when the bajaj scooters actually you know uh, been with the old kind of a technology when the entire uh, two wheeler market automotive automobile market has been moved to the motorbike there is no other go actually you know uh, bajaj uh, company has to recruit a young uh, kind of a graduates and make them put into a job so these are the ways actually you know we may have to go in for a new kind of a recruitment and new kind of a technologies and make sure that you know even the recruitment and right kind of a talent has to be you know uh, recruited and uh, this is uh, actually a very very difficult process for an hr manager because uh, they need to you know uh, very closely work with the production department or what do you call operations department only then you can able to do this kind of you know changes and uh, because of the technology what happens is there is an unemployment can happen so how are we going to you know probably map the potential of the particular candidate and uh, with the available new kind of a technologies where exactly we can fit this particular employee into a right kind of a system so that's again a you know major kind of a challenge the next one is your it revolution when we talk about it revolution everything has become you know now real time access and sharing of a digital information and everything is available on online and uh, it is made possible by actually you know core information technologies like digital networks information data banks and computer graphics so basically you know we need to workplace uh, you know workplace of an executive would be anywhere in the world there's a virtual team can arise and his work environment may be named workstations so this is the way actually you know what has happened is your computer has become an, you know major kind of a thing rather than you know the, the real person so time and speed would be is actually you know to watch how fast the employee could able to you know uh, uh, cope up with that and then they could able to you know get inducted quickly into the systems and computerized information system that's where they you know the competency of the employee is all about and the challenges of quality revolutions actually if you look into it now the quality expectations have become very very high and active kind of a revolution which has actually been developed around the customer satisfaction and uh, everything is actually you know customer orientation so because of the customer orientation which has forced the organization throughout the world uh, to become very very conscious about conscious about the quality so that's the reason if you look into it uh, many manufacturing company which is based out of india they have been forced to follow certain japanese uh, in a quality management techniques like jit or uh, six sigma or it could be let's say like uh, uh, what you call it as kaizen methods or kanban and these kind of you know methods they have been forced to follow 
and no other go because of the you know uh, kind of a world uh, renowned kind of a quality and even if you happen to be a deemed exporter or probably the supplier of the material also you are supposed to follow that particular technologies and uh, you know quality management techniques only then you know you can you will be get an opportunity to you know participate in the bidding process so that extent today it has become more quality oriented so ultimately you know products are now available uh, that are far more superior than the earlier one in terms of quality and given the same or even lower price so for example uh, motorola has actually implemented a six sigma to attain 99.99999 percentage you know defect free manufacturing so these are the kind of you know uh, quality management system if you are trying to implement your mentality and the employees skill set has to be you know drastically changed over a period of time that's one of the major challenge so hr department has to really make sure that you know people are in line and then try to you know take up the particular task and uh, the next one is changes in political legal environment even the government has participated participating directly in a trade commerce and industry so that pose uh, many challenges before a private sector firms and government may restrict the scope of private sector in many things but uh, you know on in the name of public interest but now actually you know what is happening is uh, small small organizations are threatening the bigger kind of you know uh, kind of a companies so that's the way if you look into it now with the help of a technologies uh, there are a lot of e-commerce online companies are all small small startups which is challenging the bigger companies and ultimately you know uh, there is uh, various areas and sectors the foreign direct investment has been opened up and ultimately you know more and more competition which is happening and even the political and legal environment uh, what is happening is they try to you know bring about the changes in terms of the legal framework and it will be a major challenge for the human resource executives fully examine the implication of these changes and bring about necessary adjustment within the organization so that uh, they will be you know tuned to face the competition as well as the technologies now the next one is the change uh, changes in workforce profile uh, there is an increased level of an education level and ultimately you know people are highly empowered and their knowledge level is very good and changes in the skill level is also increased like anything they have become more and more skilled laborers now and uh, wisdom kind of a worker very smart workers and age group if you look into it uh, our india has got the maximum kind of an advantage of let's say more than 50% of the population is between the age work group of uh, 24 to you know probably 30 so you'll be dealing with more of an young workforce rather than you know old workforce their young workforce mindset is totally different and it's more of an you know achievement oriented so that's a way actually you know to keep a trap or probably to uh, you know motivate their aspiration level it's the biggest kind of you know challenge today and other thing is workforce diversity because the globalization uh, happened to be in you know, a multinational companies you might have a presence in almost all part of the world so your employee workforce will have uh, you know mix of asian you know europeans and americans and you know what not all kind of you know race of people will be there so naturally you know there is a heterogeneity of organization and ultimately it poses a big challenge for the hr managers and it include it includes workers from different groups and the employee don't set aside their values beliefs and lifestyle preferences when it comes to work because they always carry that along with and it's a managed kind of you know it has to be managed properly there has to be a proper kind of a communication human relations has to be exit you know uh, developed and congenial work culture has to be you not know, developed in the organizations so these are the ways workforce diversity has to be looked into it and the next one is empowerment of an employee the prof- uh, the pro- uh, proportion of a professional and technical employees will increase as compared to the blue collar employee so naturally you know they are all very very highly knowledgeable people and they know about what's happening in the market and uh, you know the degree of Uh, participation in goal setting and decision making and also demands greater avenues of self fulfillment so the organization will have to be re- redesigned or restructured to empower the employees uh, for their autonomy so that quick decision making can happen and ultimately you know the techniques of empowerment ranges from participation decision making to the use of self managed teams so that extent you know the more and more autonomy kind of a thing is coming up so hence you know we can be ahead of the competition that's an idea behind it so how we provide you know provide an empowerment of emp- employees at the same time try to you know probably have a control over the business that's the biggest kind of question mark so these are the kind of challenges uh, posed by an hr department uh, in today's context